What's happening everyone? Welcome back, it's Nick and Kelly from the Karate Playbook. And today we're gonna go over some ways to defend against the jab. We're gonna be playing around with six different ways. We're gonna do three where you're trapping the hand and, and actually blocking it. And then we're gonna do three where you're more just evading and slipping it. So with that, let's jump right into it. We're gonna go right into the first technique. We're gonna be doing basically a low block chamber. So if this is new to you, it's one hand's going to come high and the other hand, instead of going low, I'm gonna kind of point it straight forward. All right, now, as Sensei's gonna throw his jab towards me, I'm going to block his wrist and then I'm gonna go underneath and throw that reverse punch just like that low block chamber. Good, great point about hitting the wrist. If she hits my elbow, it's gonna bend and do this. If she hits my hand, it can kind of slide off and it really doesn't control the other person that well. Then it turns into the thing. He just did the thing! The thing. So when we go, we're gonna throw this jab, the other person's gonna check it and go right down there. All we're doing is redirecting their momentum and then using their own body to prevent them from coming forward. Exactly. All right, now number two. It's straight out of kata, which is one of my favorite things. So we're gonna be doing osei uke nukete for the most part. Just like in hand knee on for those of you that might be just starting out. That's why I keep them around. All right, so as Sensei throws the jab, I'm going to catch at that wrist and I'm gonna go over the top and hit him right in that love button on his face. <laughs> so <laughs> if you notice when she pushes my hand down, it brings my head forward and it makes it really easy to throw this technique. Uh, just watch out for their other hand potentially flailing over the top. Now when I'm, when I'm using his body to go against him, I'm pushing it past my body. So I'm still not getting hit, even though that hand's going towards my belt. Exactly. Fun fact, the word uke that we use for like osai uke or age uke, it means to receive. It doesn't actually mean to block. So when she's doing this, she's not trying to stop my motion. She's trying to guide it in so that she can hit me. All right, the third technique is gonna be age uke, which is straight out of hand shodan, good old basics. So, as I'm going in for this, Sensei is going to block. Now, he wants to go kind of towards my forehead area. That's where he's hitting, and he's taller than me, so that's a lot easier for him. So I'm gonna catch that wrist again, and I'm gonna do my high block, and then underneath, I'm gonna sneak this jab in. Now this upper hand should be pulling his body towards me, so as I'm just sticking my hand out, his body's doing the rest of the work and plummeting this awesome reverse punch hand right into those ribs where it feels fantastic. And the bonus is that since you're lifting their arm up, you're expanding all of these muscles and all these ribs, and it makes everything a little bit weaker, so that it's a little bit more, I guess, impactful. All right, so those are the three we we're actually blocking. Now let's go into the slipping and evading sort of methods. Exactly, slip and slide. <laughs> so Bruner stands here. Now she's gonna be punching me in the face. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've learned cool fun fact after years of doing karate, getting punched in the face sucks. So avoid it at all costs. So when she throws this jab, instead of taking her hand over to the side, and then throwing this reverse punch. All I'm gonna do is step my front foot over and throw a reverse punch. So if you notice where my head is, when I step over and throw this punch, I'm no longer there. So if she's throwing her punch at me, instead of blocking, I'm just going to step in and twist and throw this punch. So and I know it. <laughs> So I know what some of you guys are thinking, and yes, it is dangerous. So back up just a little bit. If she throws her jab, dangerous for me to move into this jab because, well, I'll eat it and it doesn't taste good. So I need to make sure that my timing is good so I'm getting next to this. Your other hand now can stay up to protect against her rear hand here because she might throw one, two, and I don't want to dive bomb into it. So my hand is going to stay here. She punches, whack. And this hand is here to block against that potential reverse punch. All right, so number two, or number five, whatever we're counting, number two of the dodging and evading. This one we're gonna slip to the outside. So we don't wanna just slip this way because our stance is too big for that. In boxing, we can slip here because our stance is shorter, but in more of a traditional karate stance, if I slip, I'm gonna fall. 
So with this one, I'm going to press my shoulders this way, but step at the same time. So my rear foot is gonna step. Now I just reverse my hip rotation and throw my punch to the head or to the body. It depends on what you uh, prefer. But when we're going, she jabs on the step, boom, and then catch off to the side. You're using your power to bounce back in. So by the time I even start to turn, I'm just going directly into eating the fist instead of being able to reverse that fast enough. Yeah, because most people don't stop with the jab. If they do, that's good. If she's trying to throw a jab, reverse punch, one, boom, Two. I'm gonna catch her in the open space just before she lands her technique. And just a fun bonus for the advanced belts out there, if you are baiting in this jab, you slip, you punch, you can turn this into a big sweep, which we call the tabletop. You're just taking the legs right out from under them and they crash and burn down. So it's really fun, but it's uh, more for the advanced belts. If you want something on how to bait certain techniques, that's a video I was thinking about doing. I'm not sure if uh, there's a lot of interest though. So if you want to figure out how to bait in certain techniques, let us know in the comments. But with that, let's go into the final one. And this one is distancing going back. So we started off, she threw a jab, I slipped to this side. She threw a jab, I slipped to this side. This time, as she jabs, I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna basically go into a back stance. But now, I'm going to break a little bit of some rules, break some technique, and I'm gonna let my body lean back slightly, right? What this does is it baits, it pulls her jab in, and it creates this whip sort of a feeling with my body. So if she's throwing her jab, she's gonna pull that hand back, and as she does, my body's standing up into this, all right? Now, of course, she might be throwing the other hand, which means if she's throwing it to the body, so jab, reverse punch, this hand is in the way for her body punch. If she's throwing it to the head, I have a perfect position to be able to block and push that hand out of the way and open her up for an attack. So if she throws her technique, I'm going this way, boom, and I just have to be ready to block that punch out of the way. So these are the six ways. So just if we want, we can do a quick recap. She's going to slip off, or she's gonna push it off to the side like a low block. She's going to push it down like in knee down. She's gonna do a high block. Good, I'm gonna slip off to the side. I'm gonna slip off to the other side, or I'm gonna go back and then come over the top here. All right, so try them out. Let us know if you have certain ways that you like to defend against jabs, but uh, we always love to hear your comments or your requests for future videos. Have an awesome time training this. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.